The Sony NX30 is a full HD camera with a high-level RGB color resolution, built-in microphone with balanced XLR audio inputs, and steady shot image stabilization. When the camera is checked out, it includes a tripod, audio cable, headphones, DC power adapter, battery, a camera mounted light with hardware, adapter shoe, rain cover, and three microphones. You should take a picture and or make an inventory of all the equipment. It's vital that you learn to keep track of and take care of equipment you are responsible for. Treat it as if it were yours. Note that the tripod's camera plate stays attached to the camera. This is not a common practice because the tripod is worthless without its camera plate. We do this for ease of use since we pair all our cameras with a specific tripod. But remember, this is not the norm in professional video film production. The battery is given to you separately since it will need to be charged when you return the camera. The battery is kept in a different cabinet. It is not stored in the camera bag. The camera mounted microphone is secured with the microphone holder and will be plugged into input one. The camera also comes with a handheld or stick mic and a lavalier or clip-on microphone. The second mic will be plugged into input two. The blue camera's lavalier mic is wireless, so that camera comes with a receiver, transmitter, and extra cables. The wireless receiver and transmitter are powered with AA batteries only, so plan on having at least four. The brown and black cameras come with hardwire lavaliers. Never use the handheld microphone when shooting an interview. Most people will not know how to hold it. A lavalier mic can be clipped onto a shirt or a lapel, and your interview subject won't need to think about it. If you need a shotgun microphone with a fish pole, they can be checked out separately. Let's get started with the basics. The tripod should always be placed in its bag with the head of the tripod at the same end where the zipper ends up. This way, you can always put the tripod down on its feet when it's in the bag. Step one in setting up the tripod. Move the pan handle away from the legs. Step two, extend the bottom riser of the tripod, building the tripod from the bottom up. Step three, with the pan handle out of the way, you can flop the legs open. If you need to raise the tripod more, the top risers are easy to access. The Sony NX30 comes with a remote control on the tripod handle. Your instructor or a tutor can show you how to connect and operate it. Attach the camera to the tripod at the plate going in nose first, then tail down. As you press on the top of the release lever, it will snap into place. Press the release lever in to secure it. To take the camera off, turn the release lever while holding the camera and lift the camera up. Level the camera by loosening the center lock under the middle of the tripod, then using the bubble as a leveling reference. Find the contact points on the battery and the camera's battery slot. Find the battery release button. Install and remove the battery. Find the DC power input. Note that you can use the camera to charge the battery. With the power off, connect the DC power supply and install the battery. The charge light will come on. It will go out when the battery is fully charged. To turn the camera on, simply open the LCD screen. Note that the lens cap automatically opens. To turn the camera off, press the power button inside the LCD door. This will ensure that the lens cap closes. Now find the SD card slot. On the LCD screen, you should see a menu button in the upper left. Below that are the three My buttons. One for exposure, one for white balance, and one for zebra. The My buttons are selected in the menu, which we will review later. With exposure, focus, or white balance in manual mode, you will see the face detection and smile sensitivity turned off. If the zebra is on, 
you will see that icon next to the My buttons. You will also see the white balance symbol when the white balance is not in automatic mode. And when the camera is in manual focus, the focus icon appears there as well. In the lower left is the playback mode button and the exposure bar. The battery life indicator is in the upper right. The time code information and the format you are shooting are displayed below that. In the lower right, you should see the video and audio formats and the volume indicator for both channels of audio. There's also an icon to show that Intelligent Auto is turned off. If you don't see this information, press the display button to change the information visible on the LCD screen. Using the menu on the LCD screen, select Camera Audio. Most of the items in this menu will not need to be accessed. Check with your instructor on the recommended settings. Using the up-down arrows, navigate to Dial Setting and make sure it is set to Focus. Navigate to Audio Format and confirm it is set to Linear PCM. Then move down to My button. This is where you can select the functions that appear in the My Buttons location on the LCD screen. Exit that menu and access the Record Media Set menu. Make sure the setting is HD quality. Media Select is set to Memory Card and the Record Format is 1080 60i HQ. Exit the menu and return to Shooting Mode. Press the Exposure button and observe how you can switch from Auto to Manual and make adjustments while in Manual Mode. Press the Zebra button and notice how you can turn it on and off. Remember, the zebra stripes are only a reference for video that is 100 IRE or higher and will not be recorded onto your footage. Before white balancing, put the camera in automatic exposure mode. White balance the camera by placing a white piece of paper in front of the lens. Make sure the light you are shooting in is on the paper. Press the white balance button on the LCD screen and make sure you're in one push mode. Press the set button. Once processing is done, the camera is white balanced. Put the camera back to manual exposure mode and frame up a shot. Adjust the exposure by pressing the plus or minus boxes. Find the dial on the front left of the camera and change the focus from manual to auto by pressing the front of the dial. While in manual focus, locate the zoom control on the top of the camera and zoom all the way in on a small item. Turn the focus ring until it is sharp. Now turn the focus ring so the item is out of focus. Press the front of the dial and observe the autofocus laser measuring the distance and setting the focus for you. With the Sony NX30, the internal microphone is active when the audio module is unplugged on top of the camera. If the audio module is plugged in, inputs 1 and 2 are active. Attach the camera mounted microphone and plug it into input 1. Plug the XLR audio cable into input 2. Plug the lavalier microphone into the other end of the XLR cable and install a AA battery in the lavalier microphone's battery chamber. For the blue camera, put batteries in the wireless microphone receiver and transmitter. Attach the receiver to the top of the camera and plug it into input 2. Plug the lavalier microphone into the transmitter. Turn the receiver and transmitter on. Assign input 1 to record to channel 1 only. Set both inputs to mic plus 48V. This will send power to all wired microphones from the camera battery. It will not power wireless equipment. 
Set the attenuation to zero and turn low cut off. Set the audio level controls to manual. Always use headphones to monitor the audio you are recording. Clip the lavalier microphone onto yourself and plug in the headphones. Set the audio level so the voice peaks about two-thirds along the audio meter toward the red peak point. The record button is to the right of the battery on the back of the camera. To check your footage, enter playback mode by pressing the playback button in the lower left of the LCD screen while you're in shooting mode. Use the on-screen controls to select and watch the clips. Wrap all the equipment back the same way you found it. Refer to your picture and or inventory to make sure everything's accounted for. Now that you've seen all the main functions, we encourage you to check out the camera and review this material hands-on in the equipment checkout area. You can also take another tutorial with an instructor or tutor before you try to pass the checkoff exam, which is required to receive your camera card. Once you have your camera card, you can take the camera out to shoot your class assignments.